there is an enormous variation in the rates of prostate cancer around the globe, with among the highest rates in the U.S. and lowest rates in Asia, though that may be changing. The largest increase in prostate cancer rates in the world in recent decades has been in South Korea, for example, a 13-fold increase in prostate cancer death nationwide. They suggested the increase in animal foods may have played a role, since that was the biggest change in their diet over that period, nearly an 850% increase. This is consistent with what we know in general about foods and the prevention and management of prostate cancer. Uh, tomatoes, broccoli family vegetables, and soy foods decrease risk, no clear benefit from fish, and an increased risk from meat and dairy. This may be because a diet based around whole plant foods effectively reduces inflammation in the body. There is a genetic factor. If you have a first-degree relative with prostate cancer, you may be at threefold higher risk, but non-genetic factors may increase your risk 300-fold. How do we know the low rates in Asia aren't genetic? Because when they move to the United States, their rates shoot up, and by the second generation they're almost caught up. This may be because of more Burger Kings and Dairy Queens, but could also be because of eating fewer protective foods, such as soy. A systematic review of all soy and prostate cancer population studies to date confirmed soy foods could lower the risk. But that's kind of a broad category. There's all sorts of soy foods. There's fermented soy foods, like miso and tempeh, and unfermented foods, like tofu and soy milk. Which is more protective? Researchers sifted through the studies, and it turns out that only the unfermented soy seemed to help. Tofu and soy milk consumption were associated with about a 30% reduction in risk, whereas there didn't appear to be any protection linked to fermented soy foods.